Hello, my name is Markus Seifang. Hello, my name is Markus Seifang. Today, let's take a look together at I.O. mapping. By I.O. mapping, we mean the connection between the variables from the process image and the actual hardware signals. So, let's look at a practical example together. I.O. mapping takes place in the I.O. mapping editor or mapping editor for short. On the left-hand side are the mapping sources or, as is the case here, the variables from the process image. On the right-hand side you can see the hardware configuration, which I created earlier. Mapping to actual hardware signals is performed by dragging the variable to the other side and dropping it onto the hardware signal to which it is to be connected. We'll run through a couple now. For example, two input signals from an emergency stop. More complex structures can also be mapped at once. Analog modules, for example, represent a more complex structure, also providing evaluation blocks. These can simply be mapped to the module, then all the data they contain is automatically there. As well as mapping to hardware signals, it is also possible to map to other signal sources. For example, it is possible to map to the process image of other control systems. Mapping can also be used to connect the failsafe section to the standard section. Here's a brief example. I've created a self-defined data type which is supposed to be readable on another control system. One data type is in one program called PRG and the other data type is called PRG1. PRG1 runs on a totally different control system and if I wish to map these variables, I can simply drag them to the other control system via drag and drop. All communication from one control system to the other is then managed in the background. It is also possible to map to data sources which are downloaded via IP connections, for example. Here is a TC connection I set up earlier and we will now map the data to it. Here we have an array. The connection provides an array with 50 bytes. By chance I have already prepared a relevant array here in the program to which I can map quite easily. Once the signals have been mapped, the program can be built and downloaded to the control system.